What if you live in a bunker, have a budget of about $20 to $30, have no windows or smooth surfaces to catify with suction cup hammocks, and don't have the floor space for racks and a cat pole? Bonjour everyone, it's me TN and today we're going to talk about cats and yes, I know everybody's home is different Therefore, I know that sometimes catification isn't so straightforward But I still want to show that you could live in a room or a home with no windows to stick on hammocks No place to drill or even no place to put a rack or cat tower and still find some method to create some well catified spaces And so another great way for a cat to access higher ground and get away from noise and floor traffic is through the use of cat hanging lounges. And these items are not only great for cats, but they're great decorative items to be around the apartment at home without taking up too much floor space. It's a little bit of a less common way to catify, but it's easy and a cheap way, usually about um, $20 to $50 USD. I bought this specific one for about $30, and one of the best parts is it doesn't require any assembly, so you can immediately start catifying any area of your home. For those that are a bit more skilled with crafts and have that DIY spirit, I'm sure it's even cheaper to do. Of course, you might be asking, oh, Tian, but your apartment's already catified. Why do you need another catification item? Well, I'm already in too deep with this cat stuff, so it's no longer a human apartment. I am my cat's pet now. And it's always interesting to observe your cat's reactions to different products and sections that us humans set up. So I was very interested on how my cats would respond to it. And me showing might give you ideas of how you can use this in your own home. In this video, I'll go over the pros and cons of this catification method and show you a few different ways that you can hang and mount along with some different spots that the cats might like. In addition to having no assembly, another one of the things that are really nice about these cat hanging lounges is that it can be hung in a lot of different ways. There are likely already spots that you can hang up the lounges already in your apartment or house. However, on the off chance that there isn't, like in my apartment, here are the three ways that you can hang up the hanging lounge. First, you can hang them up using stick-on hangers. I would make sure that they're pretty heavy-duty sticky hangers. As long as it supports a few kilograms more than your cat's weight, it should be okay. Another way to hang up the lounge is using door hangers. If you have strong doors around, it can be easily hung up on any type of sturdy door. Again, just make sure it's sturdy enough to hold up a few kilograms, or however much your cat's weigh. And of course, you wouldn't be watching my channel without me mentioning some suction cups up in here. I would always recommend keeping a couple of extra suction cups from products around just because they're so useful. So you can just easily pass through a metal rod or a hook through the suction cup to hold up the lounge. And we all know by now that suction cups are strong enough to hold up a couple of cats. And so after using this cat lounge for a while now, here are the list of pros and cons that I found with this catification method. First, cats love these spots because they're comfortable and warm. They might be wary of it at first, but once they actually lay down, they're going to likely stay on for a decent period of time, especially if it's near some high traffic areas, so that they can see what's going on at a safe and secure spot. Another pro is that they're really light and easy to move around, depending on the needs and the situation. Hang them up on the window in the summer, then when it gets a bit colder, hang it somewhere inside. The rope can be rolled up to be stored somewhere neatly if you have guests coming over and you don't want them bumping themselves on the hanging lounge or just remove the pillow or cushion and let the rope hang freely as decoration since it lies pretty flat without the cushion. As discussed before, it's able to be hung on anything that can support a cat's weight, so it's incredibly easy to use. Kittens absolutely love climbing and playing with the rope. Latte especially loves hanging on the bottom part of the lounge. Lastly, it's an isolated spot for cats to get away from stressful situations, and it's a lot more aesthetically pleasing than other cat-specific furniture. Now transitioning to cons, adult and older cats that are a little bit more cautious can take a while to get used to the swinging nature of the lounges. 
For example, Ash didn't want to try or get on it at all by himself since it moved too much, so I had to coax him down and uh, when I actually put him on it, he'd stay there for a good hour before getting off. Another con is that depending on where you hang the cat lounge, it might hit or tap the doors and other objects around the home when the cats jump on and off. Therefore, it has the potential to be pretty noisy if the cats are roughhousing on or around the lounge. So the key takeaway is that it's a fun little addition to your cat home or apartment and can easily provide a lot of enrichment for your cats. It can also be used in conjunction and complements other catification methods that you already use in your home. I found it pretty useful near the kitchen as a perch because cats can still be around while I make my coffee or do my imaginary cooking. Even though my apartment is pretty decked out in cat furniture, I think I'll keep it hanging around. Down in the description are links to my website with my recommendations and helpful cat articles at MonsieurTN.com and I'll see you in the next video.